Welcome to Highway Caravan Centre, located approximately 60 kilometres southeast of Melbourne at 1975 Princes Highway, Nanagoon. We're part of the Clough family businesses that have been operating out of this location for over 40 years. Highway Caravan Centre is the number one dealer in southeast Victoria for Vacationer and JB Caravans and offer comprehensive finance rates and great deals on trade-ins. Our specialised, highly trained technicians in our service and spare parts department offer competitive prices on all caravan servicing, spare parts, minor and major repairs, electrical work and even offer great advice for your next escape. With over 40 new and used caravans in stock, be sure to make Highway Caravan Centre the location of your next caravan adventure. Because every journey begins on the highway. G'day guys, welcome to Highway Caravan Centre. Today we're walking through a 2018 Vacationer Highlander full off-road family bunk van. So if you are a family and you want to get out, spend a bit of time in the bush, getting off the beaten track, this is as tough as they come. All right, so we're gonna walk you around the van on the outside and then take you inside, show you the features of the van. So Vacationer uh, brought this van out in the last couple of years to take you full off-road. Built strong, control rider, full off-road suspension, uh, and if you're a family, we've got the 22-foot the bunk layout as well. So having a look at the foot of the van, you can see we've got the dual slide-out toolbox. So you can put your generator in, put your barbecue in, uh, use it as storage. So we've got superb space in the toolbox. We've got gas bottles. Thanks, mate. We've got all our connections to, sh to see what you need for your vehicle. So we've got an ESC, which runs our electronic stability control. We've got a Gray Anderson, which charges the um, uh, battery in the van. We've also got reverse camera, stone guard. We've got a weight distribution hitch, which is thrown in as well, which is stored in the tunnel boot. We've got our Alco pin lock breakaway system. Um, let's have a look, Matt. We've got hoses which the customer's throwing in as well. There's our slide out. Okay, we've got a large high checker plate up the front there. We've got a working light at the front, smooth pro bond uh, on the front of the van and stucco on the, uh, on the walls, on the sides, which is lighter in weight. So that helps with the overall weight. Tunnel boot both sides. This one's just locked, so we'll pop down this side if we can, Matt. Taking you in here, we've got a tear weight of 29.55. So you're gonna need a good size vehicle to tow it. Now inside you can see we've got privacy screens, we've got roof rafters, we've got uh, a hydraulic jack, uh, and our weight distribution bars are up at the other end there. Our ATM will be three and a half ton. You can see we've got the scrub bars built all along the front and past the wheels. We've got Mickey Thompson tires. Have a look at the tread on these things. And I believe this van has only done one trip for a couple of months uh, off-road. Picnic table. We've got an outdoor entertainment unit with our radio, dual power points, connections, 12 volt for when you're free camping, uh, and your bracket as well. We've got Euro double glazed windows. We've got dual support brackets on our awning because we've got a long van that helps us support the, uh, the uh, awning while it's in situ. We've got our screen blind on the front door door separates through as well. Uh, let's have a look around the other side. Now water tank wise we've got a drinking water tank, we've got two water tanks and a grey water tank. So there's four tanks under the van. We've got jerry can holders here for water. We've also got a Wobasto diesel heater which is one of the uh, top brands you can get. There's the tank for filling up your, your diesel in your diesel heater. Rear light and re reversing camera and monitor. Again, scrub bars, we've got our grey tank here, our battery box here, solid pipe there, and our water in. Water tank filler here and here, external shower, there's also an extra TV point uh, for connecting your aerial to, and our power in is on this side. So we've also got a couple of solar panels on the roof to match our batteries inside. We've got a LED handle and step to help us find our van at night time. So if we come inside, I'm just going to start with the bedroom area. So 
So we've got a cushion for the club lounge, which we'll see later. We've got an accessible drawer here. TV is stored under the bed, so two compartments for storage. Full-size queen bed. Sides of the bed, we've got a dual 12 volt lights, dual power point, 12 volt and USB in the cubby holes. Shelf with protection barrier. We've got lighting here, blue or white. Now the cupboards are uh, black gloss, they look really good, obviously you've got to keep them clean, but they look really smart right throughout the van with the black and white. We've got our ensuite lights either side of the bed, so if you're getting up in the middle of the night, flick the switch and our ensuite light will go on. Wardrobes at the sides, left and right of the bed with hangers, and you've got a drawer and a cupboard below the little bench uh, as well. Overhead we've got a hatch with our block out blind and our fly screen which is there and obviously our hatch is open so giving us natural light uh, and some ventilation through the van as well. You'll notice we've got two Sirocco fans in the bedroom which gives us that uh, circulation of air just to keep us cool on warm nights and they have a timer on them as well so you can literally start them. You've got three different speeds and then there's a timer on them as well so you can turn them off after a couple of hours, four hours, six hours. Uh, during the night. Okay, over to the club lounge. Now the table actually goes down to a uh, bed. So we're going to bring the table out, like so. Foot on the button on the bottom of the table, push that down into place. You can then sort of maneuver that table into the lounge and then we would get the cushion out of the bed, put the cushion in there and then we've got either a day bed sort of area where we can get our feet up, watch the TV at night, or we can have it as a, a separate sort of bed area. There we go, turn that around, and this obviously moves into place to different positions, to whatever suits you. Access to overhead cupboards, shelf there, we've got lighting either side, dual power points that get gained, 12 volt and USB. Now our network of power, 12 volt resettable fuse board, so if our lights go out we just pretty much flick the switch back on and your lights will come back on. Solar controller gives us about 40% more efficiency with our energy from the solar to the battery, so they're current. Uh, our battery reader telling us what our battery's performance is like, our water tank gauges, we've got a gas and electric hot water system, uh, two water pumps uh, as well, so that's our electricity. And our electrical controls. There's the control for our Webasto diesel heater which is vented under the uh, bed there. All right, moving on to the kitchen. Filter tap is built into the tap. Stainless steel uh, crime sink. We've got our oven with our electric hob, three gas, full oven here, plenty of drawers, soft closing so we can give them a good a good slam and they're well protected by the soft closers. We've got post formed bench tops, they're rounded so they're nice and uh, well finished off. Our TV bracket is here which is mounted on the wall with our remote, our controls, 12 volt and our um, booster switch goes in the cupboard there out the way. We've got reverse cycle Bel Air air conditioning above our heads, uh, LED lighting throughout, again same sort of hatch here with uh, the lighting on there. There we go, and again, open that to allow some ventilation through. Now we've got a Dometic compressor fridge here, which is full height. There's the freezer, just open the fridge. So I think that's probably about a 218 litre uh, fridge we've got there as well. Now there's the vent for our diesel uh, heater just coming out of the back of the seating here. All right, we'll just turn some lights on in here. So into the bunk area. So we've got these really well designed bunks. They're full length and width with their own lights, dual power points, USB and 12 volt. We've got a little step to be able to get up there. There's a heap of clearance here. So a lot of bunks, they tend to be a little bit high, but we've got a heap of clearance here. So easy, easily accessible for the kids. And if the kids are a little bit older as well, uh, it's easier for them to maneuver around or sit up while they're in bed. Same with the bottom bunk. And we've also, of course, got two uh, drawers which utilises the space under the bed there. 
plenty of cupboard space with uh, hanging robes, drawers, and then our washing machine, which is a uh, front loader, uh, sat at the bottom there. Now coming in, we've got two separate rooms here. So we've got one for the bathroom, toilet, vanity, cupboards, uh, ventilation hatch as well. Uh, quite a, a sort of decent sized sink for the area. And two towel racks on this side, plus a towel rack over the, over the sink. And then separately in this room, we've got a shower with the same uh, ventilation and we've got these dispensers which the previous owner has put on the wall which are really handy for your shampoos etc. So that's the bunk area and the ensuite in the bunks. We've got our stereo here, we've got our microwave, we've got our range hood which is going to take away any of the smells and the steam from, from cooking. Um, and that just about wraps it up. We've got to give it a, a good detail, um, super tough van, extremely well built, well finished off with the soft closes and the pro bun finishes, uh, all the gadgetry you'd expect and you would need to uh, take you away. So if, if you're looking for a, you know, an off-road van for the family, it's got to be the one for you. Come down and see us at Highway Caravan Centre, Nine Agoon, uh, and we'll happily show you around the van.